Hello everyone, this is Spud Rebel here again for um, another WoW uh, episode. So in this episode we're going to be uh, looking at um, a dungeon known, very well known in Dragonblight called the Wormrest Temple. Now the technical uh, name for this dungeon is called the Obsidian Sanctum. Now there's I think probably two dungeons here, or three. Um, I thought it was three but I believe that um, in these areas that there's only two. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one of these dungeons, um, or raids actually, they are technically called raids, but uh, some people can call them dungeons, but may require quite a lot of people. But because I'm level 100, I think it's best if I, um, you know, try to do it solo. I have done it before in the past, so it's not really that much of a problem. But obviously if you are like level 80 or level 82 or something like this, like these um, mob, tr or these trash mobs are, uh, I'd say get quite a few of people, but um, because this dungeon is pretty much, you know, going um, into the redundancy section, because, well, the reason why it is the redundancy section is because quite a lot of people never come here anymore. I mean, obviously, it was very popular when Wrath of the Lich King came out and Cataclysm, but um, now this dungeon has be just become uh, redundant uh, in its own aspect. But some people come here and they just, you know, do all sorts of stuff. So obviously, um, there is this myth going on about dungeons, particularly uh, some dungeons like the Black Fallum Deeps, which is in Ashenvale. That dungeon there is pretty much one of the most um, oldest um, dungeons to do. However, it is redundant because not many people go there. However, some people may go there, some people may not go there. It depends on if they want to get specific items or whatever. So anyway, let's just get going. Just, uh, just to that spell. give you some um, content on here. But as you can see, I'm just going to go over these trash mobs, and I shouldn't have had aspect pack on, otherwise I would have received um, dazzle mode. Now, because I haven't got a pet, I'm just going to call him out. So I'm going to call my owl power dive. Um, and I'll probably call my spider as well, but uh, I don't think you can have uh, more than one pet uh, out with you. You can have your like your little companion, but um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go go and get my spider out because that one's uh, a little bit better. So there we go, power dive's gone, and here comes sharp legs. Well, they look as if they've got sharp legs, but there we go. So as you can see, he's following me, and now we're going to just continue on by. Um, killing off some of these mobs here. Some of these are glitched, so just be careful depending on which dungeon you do. Um, sometimes your pet can attack them as well, so obviously it saves you on like uh, ammo or whatever. If you remember back in probably Hunters, back in like Burning Crusade Help. or um, I am trapped within this tree. Vanilla, I you can probably aid. tell already that when Re when Cataclysm came out or Wrath of the Lich King, um, you had to buy your own one. arrows. Um, Soon you will join your and friends. now uh, Blizzard has introduced um, an infinite uh, use on arrows. So obviously, when you start firing or whatever, you don't have to buy the arrows like you used to do, probably in Burning Crusade and uh, Vanilla. So yes, and as you can see, here's our first boss. I uh, can't really pronounce the name, so we'll just uh, speak to this very quickly. So there we go. A terrible thing has happened here. It's one of the famous uh, Blood Elves. I, f I can't really say her name. Zerishtrazo, whatever. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in the video. She just we goes on a bit the about um, the history of the Sanctum and why it's but been we affected. As you can see, this is the Burning the Legion, but um, we need to worry about that charged. because, of course, uh, the Burning Legion is basically in the past and, and uh, it was in Warcraft 3 10,000 years ago or we something like that. But uh, it doesn't really matter. As my brethren perished around me. I managed to retreat here. Sorry if I'm and doing like a voiceover over this. Um, they slaughtered us with cold. This speech from uh, but the, the Sanctum Guardian, but uh, the only reason why I'm doing that is because the sanctum. it's a bit. The boring commander of the sometimes. forces on the ground here is a cruel brute named Zerithrian. But I. That spell is there we go. So obviously she's faded out there. The front, I caught a oh, glimpse of their true leader, a fearsome, full-grown twilight dragon. I know the extent of their plans, heroes, but I know this. They cannot be allowed to succeed. So she just goes on about uh, one of the famous bosses one of the famous bosses in this uh, raid, or dungeon, as you like to call it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter what you call it, it's just a dungeon in its own technical term. Um so yeah, as you can see now I've got to kill this uh, big drake. It's a fiery drake, and uh, it's called um 
Safina rage fire. You will suffer for this intrusion. And she's down. There we go. And that's basically opened up that fiery block here. So obviously I think um what you have to do is kill your trash around the area, then kill that dragon, then come through here and kill um I think is it another dragon or is it a demon? Oh yeah, it's another it's another dragon king. Called uh, Zerithi, Zerithi. Right? Alex Straza has chosen capable allies. A pity that I must end. Hallion, I'm... There we go. He's down. So yes, and here's our um, next boss. This is our final boss, I believe. No, that where that elemental is. And he is purple, I think, or probably red. I don't know. Oh, yeah, purple. You're too late. The ruby saint teeters you will find only suffering within the realm of twilight. Right, so he creates a portal and then we've got to go into the portal and spill the light to go out, but um, this is basically if you were a shrew. And there we go, he's down. Now let's see what we've got. Your last. Uh, just some plain leather. This world will burn with the so, if you were level 80 or whatever and you were doing this dungeon, this <laughs> armor would be probably of use to you. However, sometimes it may be redundant, so obviously you don't need to worry about that. And uh, yeah, so now the Ruby Sanctum is complete. Now I think what we'll do next is the Ruby Sanctum. So what we're going to do is just uh, skip the video um, to the next dungeon. So see you in a bit. Here we are in the Obsidian Sanctum. And uh, as you can see, we've got a couple of trash mobs. Now what we're going to try and do is try and skip the mobs, just to try and... Uh, speed up the video a little bit. So as you can see, if you were level 80, again, you would probably have to go through the trash. And uh, here's our first boss, which is called Vesperon. So let's kill her, or him, or whatever. Now, because I've killed that boss, some of the um, trash mobs have actually decided to try and attack us as well, but we've killed them and nuked them down pretty quickly. Next boss is just around the corner, so we have to go around in like a clock shape in this dungeon, because um, if you think about it like um, on a network or something like that, the topology, you've basically got a uh, star, yeah, a star topology, let's just say. So the next one is Tenebron, this is the next dragon, this is on the uh, west side. And she's been nuked very quickly. The only drawback, really, with these uh, extra mobs is that some of them don't really give you loot, and some of them do, so, yeah, it's a bit um, of a bummer, really, when it comes to that. Next one is uh, Shadron, so let's kill Shadron. There we go. Is there any more? Yep, there's a uh, final one, which is just down onto the, um, into the lava. As you can see, I just jumped into the lava for some reason. Uh, because I was, I think I was just trying to get over to that side. There we go, and there we go. This is our next final boss, which is called uh, Sarthrion, Sarth or whatever it is. I don't know what the actual pronunciation is. is my and he has been face. targeted, so now we have killed him. And we've got a new bag, so that's good. Right, it's actually spoiled. What's this? Oh, it's just gold. Right, okay. I can't carry it. Oh. We are sort of redundant on that, so. I can't carry yeah. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Uh, the bag was empty, so obviously I'll put that back where it belongs. There we go, so we've got enough space. So there we go, that's the Obsidian Sanctum done, and uh, pretty much the two dungeons um, in. Uh, well, the two dungeons that I know of, which are the Ruby and the Obsidian Sanctum. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video, and see you in episode 3. Peace out, guys.